time is it? It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut it's time, time that I can finally talk about the segment that I had, Captain Marvel. Peanut butter jelly. Oh wait, I missed that part. I missed it. Look, I'm just too excited to talk about this today because last year I went on the red carpet uh, for. I walked the red carpet, attended the press junket, the screening, everything in LA for Avengers Infinity War. But while I was out there, we got to stop by the set, the movie set of Captain Marvel. We totally did. And I can finally talk about it. Like I was able to say, you know, I visited, but I didn't get to talk about stuff on, I did on there. I didn't get to talk about things I saw on there. So I am ready to talk about it and show some pictures. All right. I am ready to talk about it. You know, I didn't get to see even say who I was, uh, I saw there. Nothing. But today's the big day. Today's the big day. So let's show some pictures first because... When we first got there, we went on, I don't know, some people have seen the movie already, but it was the, um, the, it was the scrolls ship, right? It was the scroll ship, um, scrolls, uh, I think it was the scroll ship. Yeah. Because I saw the movie and I was like, that's the ship we got to visit on. And then they had this device on there that was like a torture, not, it wasn't really a, to a torture, torture device, but it was a device where it like extracts things from the mind or something like that. I guess it was kind of torture because they were they were like up like this and there was hanging like this in the movie. There's a part, I think Brie was in it, right? Brie was in it. So let's show that picture because I was in that device. Are y'all ready to see this? Okay, go. First, of course, I had to give a cute one. I'm not going to be not, I'm not going to be uh, looking all torturous all through my stuff. I had to give a cute one. So there was my, with my shades on, representing cute and my little torture device. I'm like, y'all ain't gonna make me the scrolls from not looking cute in my torture device. But then of course I had to give a torture one. So <laughs> you see it in the hands there, screaming and all, but you could see, you could totally see the background. That was like the ship. That was the ship that they were on the scroll ship that we, we got to walk around. And it was neat to see that like while we were there visiting and even though they film there, they like currently were filming the, those scenes, they were like building it in the process. Like they would film it apart, but over here they'd be building and hammering. We walked through it and there was a piece flew <laughs> down. It was like, bam, didn't hit nobody. But I was like, you got to be careful because they are, are steadily building as they're shooting scenes in this. But it was, they, they, they go elaborate. Like there was different tunnels to go down, I guess, for different things. Like if there were chases, right? So different tunnels you can go down and all that. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. But there's totally the device, the torture device. <laughs> uh, and then... They took us up that because still that this time we're like, okay, we're getting to see the set, right? They took us outside by the trailers and stuff. And as you see, and this is when we knew, I was like, oh, because we didn't know nothing about Captain Marvel, what was going to happen in there, right? We didn't, when we went to go visit the set, it was a year ago. They haven't had it. They didn't have a trailer. We knew nothing what was going to happen in Captain Marvel. But then we saw the weapons. As you can see, looking badass in our weapons. We so we saw the scroll weapons, the Cree, the Cree weapons, right? The, so we were like, oh, oh, we see the Cree weapons. I mean, we knew, we knew at that point. We're like, oh, it's totally gonna. And you see me, we got to play with them. We got to pretend shoot them. We pose with them, looking all like we're gonna go fight some some scrolls. So that was cool. And there was me and Tessa. Me and Tessa representing, holding those. It was a fun day. It was a fun day going to see that. So we got to go through that, see the scenes, take our pictures there. They walked us through it, checked out all the weapons. And then, y'all, then we got to go watch them film a scene. I'm going to throw up the, see, this is going to be hard right here, the group photo, because it was like all 25 of us that was on set. So here's the group photo. If you can see like the straight back, 
very back, straight in the middle, Samuel L. Jackson. And he's even, like, if you see the movie, like, he even had, like, the red, like, he already had some damage, like, to the eye right there. If you see the movie, you'll see there was, like, a little damage right there that, how did he do that? I'm trying to remember how he did that in the movie. Did he bought something, hit him in the eye? It was, I'm, I'm trying to remember what exactly happened that for when he first got hit in that eye. But, yeah, so then everybody's thinking, of course, they're like, oh, you lose his eye? Is that how he lost his eye? because <laughs> cause they were looking at that but then it was just like a cut there we're like oh he ain't losing his eye from that so there was samuel they were shooting a scene in the back you see they were shooting the scene in this spaceship that they had so you see it in the back in the group photo the spaceship they were shooting they were and then up front in the group photo is uh brie kind of bending down on the side there got her little hat on got the jeans this is like one one of the very few scenes like she's not in one of her suits Either the Captain Marvel or the Kree suits. Because, like, most of that movie, like, she was in her suits. So, this was one uh, we got to see. Also, we want to talk about that. We also got to go in the costume trailer. We got to go in the costume trailer while we are there. So, we saw all their different outfits and stuff. My favorite part. Because, you know, Stan Lee was around then. Stan Lee was still alive. He shot a scene. I'm not going to tell you what his little cameo was. But... When I go in that costume trailer, first thing, Stanley, I see his little outfits, his tennis shoes. So you know I'm over there, Stanley, Stanley. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm gonna put, so also, the, I don't know if you'll see me in the photo, I'm way in the back, way in the back, uh, towards the right, if you're looking at the right side over here, way in the back, I'm sticking my head out, got the little sunglasses in. So I'm way back there. But that didn't mean, we all got to talk with, uh, uh, Brie and Samuel. And if you see up front, somebody's holding Goose. So this shot was with, that we got to watch, the, the shot was with Samuel, uh, Brie, and then Goose, the, the cat. And that was, that was a cool shot because I was watching the movie and there was totally, it was the shot, like the cat jumps up, like sits on Brie's lap, and then she just kind of moves them. And we watched that shot like over, you don't know how many times, one little scene over and over and over. You're like, oh, look, is this ever going to end this scene? No, they keep doing that same little scene over and over. And it has to be harder. It has to be hard because they're dealing with animals. But one thing after the scene was done and we watched it, we got to, you know, Samuel and, and Brie came over and we got to talk with them. But first, Brie had to go get like sprayed off. We're like, what is she getting sprayed off? Apparently, Brie is very allergic to cats. I mean, that's hello. She is apparently very allergic to cats. And then she's doing this whole movie with a cat, you know, with the goose cat. So after every scene, she says she has to get like sprayed off all that cat dander or whatever it is. And, uh, and, and I'm going to say that has to be because they had so many. You saw the, the cat was like a big part in this movie. So she came over and started talking. First Samuel was talking, and then she came over after she got sprayed off and was talking about how she's allergic and has to get sprayed off. And uh, she was like, yeah, this is why I can't. She's like, I'm allergic to all animals, pretty much, all their dander and stuff. This is why, you know, I don't own any pets. So then, <laughs> I had to tell this story. Then Samuel goes, oh. I'm not allergic. I don't own any pets, but that's just because I'm busy. I don't own any pets. So I'm just too busy to own a pet. And I go, Sam, I go, not even a snake, Samuel, not even a snake. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Samuel first tried to ignore me. He's like, I knew, I knew he might have heard, but he was, I was like, he's ignoring me. That was a funny joke, Samuel. You won't even acknowledge my snake joke. You trying to be over there ignore me. So I said it again. I was like, not even a snake, even louder. So then I see, he's like, <sighs> does this little side eye to me. Samuel L. Jackson side eyed me. He was like, <sighs> yeah, no, not even a snake. Like he's probably, he's tired of hearing this. <laughs> he's tired of hearing snakes. And then even the second time I kind of mouthed the rest of it. I was like, not even a snake. Plane. You know I ain't gonna say bad words. I ain't gonna say bad words. I'm not gonna even mouth the bad words, but I was like, on a 
M M F plane. Like I mouthed that. But my favorite part, my favorite part of the whole day was getting that side eye from Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the whole day. I was like, Samuel L. Jackson, side eye me. <sighs> and he finally, he was like, not even a snake. And then he started talking about, he's like, but he's, then he started, like he had to be professional. He's like, all right, here, there, this is press. I got to entertain him with their dumb little snake jokes that I'm tired of hearing for years now. I'm tired of it. So he would start talking about working with the snakes and all of that. But but it was an awesome day. I'm telling y'all. It was like an awesome to be on the set. But what's even more awesome is like watching the movie and seeing, like you feel a part of the movie. Like I'm seeing the, like the spaceship. I'm like, I was on that. I remember them building that part over there. You know, seeing the scene with the cat. I was like, oh, that scene with the cat. Yeah, it's like. All these different things, like going to visit the set and then seeing it on the big screen, you're just like, you feel like a special connection, a part of it. You feel like a part of it. It was nice. They were nice. Like Brie, Samuel L. Jackson person was, it was super nice. Um, so, so that was, yeah, that was our day. Then we just left. We just left like, wait, and then stuff, we're like, we just was on, we just was on the Captain Marvel set. How cool is this? And now we can't talk about it for a year later. It was pretty cool though. I'll uh, throw up um, another picture, one more at the end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out. Should I go out on the group photo so y'all can get a good look at it? I'll go out on the group photo. So take a look at this group photo. One more. Look for me. Look for me way in the back. Of my head poking out, <laughs> and just picture. I think Sam right there is still side eye to me. He's still giving me a little side eye. So until next time, y'all. Subscribe. Bye.